Hello, hello, this is Sim Racing Corner. I finally bought myself an Oculus Quest 2. I've been looking to get one for quite some time. Um, this is a 64 gig one. I bought it on eBay, it's listed as used. and I saved about 50 pounds over the retail price, so I'm happy with that. Um, interestingly, um, it doesn't look that used, <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, we have this little box here, and in there, we have a pass power brick and also uh, for charging of course and um, there's a there's a charging cable there which clearly hasn't been used at all it's still all kind of packed and um, even looking at the hand trackers here you can see they've still got little plastic ends on them you know holding it all the these all together so yeah that doesn't look like it's been used at all and it all looks very clean and um, in pristine condition. So that's great. I have um, used it only briefly just to, to make sure it turns on and everything is working just fine. I went through just through a bit of the initialization process, not a lot, just a quick check to see if it's okay. Um, so I have put it on my head and you know just to see what it feels like. Um, the strap's okay. Um, this elastic strap, a lot of people swap it out because they didn't like it. It can be uncomfortable for some people. And I think sometimes it's you know someone's head shape um, I'm not sure what it's like over a long period of time, so I need, will need to find out for myself. Um, but it seems okay. It seems okay. Um, the lenses are adjustable. So there's IPD adjustment there. It's easy to do. Uh, the visor pops out um, on here. This bit kind of comes out. Easily pops out, so you can change that. Um, that's just a foam covering on there. So I'll. Uh, I'll probably look to do something with that, maybe add a silicon, silicon cover on that. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, there's a there's an audio rocker button. So volume up and down and on off. So that's basically your lot. Hand controller, you see uh, there's a trigger button and like an index, well, four finger button there. And what else do we have? Yeah, just a little joystick. It's a bit dark, but yeah, joystick and then just some extra buttons there. Simple stuff, but it's very, very comfortable to use. And uh, the tracking, when I tried it for about five minutes so far, the tracking is amazing. Um, it really picks it up in every, whenever um, you, you get into view, it'll pick it up immediately. There's no there's never occluded it, it doesn't like um, I used to have a Windows Mixed Reality a Lenovo, Lenovo headset and on that head tracker uh, on those things you could always see it kind of just popping in the controllers this seems to be absolutely perfect so they've nailed it with the wide field of view um, four cameras there that works perfectly and also the head movement tracking um, is seems perfect to me as well so that's good news um, I will review this on the channel for sim racing Hence the reason I'm probably showing you this now um, at some point, but I'm not sure when. I do have a few other reviews uh, in advance of uh, getting to that, but I will use it in the meantime just for myself. I also have this, and this was sent to me by MVH Studios, the same guys that sent me this Logitech wheel mod. Uh, so thank you very much, Mark. And um, so, yeah, maybe this will be a good replacement for the um, elastic head strap we have there. You see it looks like some sort of crazy medieval torture device, but it's not. Um, you see the visor connects to the front of there, so that's the front. And we have lots of adjustment points, sort of flexible. And a there's a dial on there for, for clamping it down on your head, uh, the back of your head. So you can change the size. And so this bit here is for attaching a um, uh, just a portable battery. You can buy them on Amazon for like £20. And then so you, you attach a battery to that. It does come with also a cable um, for attaching that battery to the Quest. For, you know, so it's just a you know, basic charging cable. And uh, that will extend the battery life of your Quest when you're you know running at the runtime from two hours, which I think is on the Quest um, currently, to whatever the battery offers. And I think, you know, it could be like, you can, I think you can double it. You can easily at least double it. Um, which is quite good. So if you want to play with your Quest for an extended period of time, you don't have to worry about charging it. You could just buy a couple of batteries, in fact, and just swap them out, which would be uh, another way of doing it. But yeah, this is interesting. And uh, yeah, so maybe this will offer better head balance. 
uh, for the Quest 2. We'll see, I'm not sure. Um, but it's definitely something I overall will view as well at some point. So uh, do stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's it guys. Just uh, showing you my latest pickup. Really pleased to get this in. Kind of, I'll set this up in a bit and play some games. So I'm looking forward to that. Also looking at some side quest stuff, you know, maybe putting some other games on there and um, other sort of random bits and pieces, just my own edification. But yeah, really, really happy to get this in. Uh, yeah, not nice, nice one. Anyway, guys, I'll be back soon, of course. I'll be back in a couple of days of, with something, uh, with a new video. So uh, check back soon. And until then, happy simming and bye-bye.